Okay, so we got a newer unit. Nice XLI. The breaker's tripping. Uh, here to do a maintenance, clean it up, check everything out. But the guy saying the breaker trips for the outside unit sometimes. First thing I'm gonna do is turn the power off. Last thing you want. Last thing you want is to open that panel up and the nick the wire hit that panel and light you up. Okay, so I'm gonna do a visual inspection. Take a visual look. Obviously, it's a high voltage tripping the breaker. So, we'll look at the high voltage wires. Make sure nothing's rubbing out, touching. Follow your high voltage up the cabinet. Everything looks pretty good. Get a good look at your contactor. Contact points look okay. Don't see any nicking. Capacitor terminals look good. The high voltage going in for a fan. Wires look okay. Going out. Wires going through the cabinet look good. Everything's chafed. Obviously, I'm going to test the uh, capacitor while I'm here doing the maintenance. I'll be cycling the unit on and off. Checking the refrigerant. All that good stuff. I'm going to check a few components to ground, see what happens. Alright, so I've got the high voltage isolated, so everything outside is isolated. Obviously our capacitor still lights you up, but uh, I'm going to go from high voltage to ground on a few things and check for a direct short. So far, so good. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to pop the top and check it out inside. But let's get a look at this disconnect. Right. So we got a surge detector and the uh, green indicator operating correctly so the surge detector is uh, still good and if you can see the discoloration in this uh, plastic here got hot on the back and I see the uh, CR issue right there got a dead lizard took, took a uh, is that good zapping? Um, so I see the issue right there. You guys can see that. I'm sure you can see that pretty good. We have a wire that rubbed out onto the disconnect. And although it tripped the breaker from rubbing out, uh, 
the customer reset the breaker and uh, it just arced, arced over again so uh, two, two resets on the breaker and it's working fine now because the uh, the metal is not there anymore to arc against so I'm gonna go inside turn the, the uh, breaker off come out here and see if I can at least temporarily fix this until maybe an electrician comes out and repairs it uh, probably, probably what's gonna happen so let me go turn the breaker off I'll be back okay guys we got the power off you can see the uh, circuit protector is not lit up still uh, it's very important to check for power uh, not just the contactless I, I wouldn't trust that either uh, check it with your meter if you have one just don't check it with your fingers Okay. So I don't know what happened here. I'm assuming that the power comes in on this side and they shifted this over at one point in time or something like that. Let's see if I can pull some slack out and give you guys a better shot of this. I don't think I'll be messing with this. But I do want to get a better picture for the electrician so he can see. And I'm sure he's going to ask me if there's slack in the wire, which I don't really feel any slack. So uh, there you have it, guys. The breaker tripping every once in a while, um, or a trip, you know, twice and then hasn't done it since but you know something ain't right I'm gonna go ahead and do the maintenance on this unit uh, try to see if I can you know band-aid this up until the electrician can get here to uh, do his thing maybe he's probably gonna have to fish a new wire I don't know what he's gonna do but uh, it's beyond me all right guys I will check you out on the next one Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos coming up in the future. Peace.